years ago in Seville and 15 years ago in Madrid. So it's first round action today on day two of competition and following on from that men's singles we have another two men's singles and the first of those is Victor Axelson, the Olympic champion and he's up against Lo Kin Yu and of course with Victor Axelson being the number two seed this is the bottom section of the draw now we can see that Wang Chalon the number 16 seed and a bronze medalist from the last world championships he's come through a very tough match against Borstedt of Sweden and Luca Vreba of Austria awaits the winner of the match that we are about to watch. Yeah, here comes the two players onto court. It was a tough match that Van Chalon had against Burestet from Sweden. Yeah. Just finished. On court number two. Yeah, that was really, really a tough, tough one. So the two players now on courts. Training partners in Dubai during September. Once long training session as Victor Axelson has relocated to the United Arab Emirates based in Dubai. And this will be a fifth meeting between these uh, two players and of the previous four, Victor Axelson has won all four. So, Black, it's your choice. You're right? On my right or serve? Yeah, right. right. My right. You serve uh, or serve? I, I serve. Serve. Perfect. Thank yeah. you. So, look, and you has won the toss and has chosen ends. That's correct. That's what I saw as well. Yeah. And it's actually the first time in a long time when we've been calling Axelson that he's not winning the toss. Yeah. And he will always immediately choose his ends because it, there's it always would. a difference in ends. He would. And certainly while we were in Indonesia, the three tournaments there, there was considerable difference in the two ends of the court. And this, oh, yeah, we can't have a cameraman on, on court. That's dangerous for the players. Uh, you can just see him in the background. He's moved back a little. So 24 years of age, Lo Ken Yu, born in Penang in Malaysia, moved to Singapore when he was 13 under the Foreign Sports Scholarship Scheme and gained Singapore citizenship in February 2015. He has been as high as 20. In fact, last week he went down from his career high of uh, 20 after just one week there, down to 22 now. Making his second appearance at the World Championships, he reached the last 16 in Basel. Uh, whereas this man wasn't at the last World Championships. He is uh, the current world number one, enjoying his 54th week in total. And he's at his sixth World Championships. Oh, I got that right. Was he in Basel? I don't think he was. Okay, you. No, no, no. Victor Axelson. Going to be 28 next month, Axelson. And what a year he has had so far. 10 finals from 12 tournaments played in 2021. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's amazing, isn't it? It is. And when you add in part of 2020 as well, he reached 10 consecutive finals, winning seven of them. Uh, quite extraordinary. Cornelia Schroeder of Germany, our umpire for this one. And here is Smitsperu, our service judge. Ready to play! So 
also training partners but fierce rivals on court this a repeat of the Indonesia Open final and it was three games in Bali 21-13 the deciding game in favour of Axelson but this is not a first round match I'm sure that the Olympic champion is relishing because he knows how good his training partner is when he's playing well and Loken Yu has been playing extremely well yep. of late. He did and you're right that Lee Taxerson did not take part in 2019 yes, in Basel. Absolutely right. Yeah, right. I thought he had. Yeah. I think he had Singapore. the ankle problem that's what I've been thinking. Yeah ankle and surgery. And on my left Victor Axelsen Denmark Victor Axelsen to serve, level, play. Did he read that well? Yeah. Look at you, he was there even before Axis and played the shot. Oh, magnificent smash to end the rally from Victor Axelson. Actually has two medals from World Championships. Victor Axelson. His first was a bronze on home soil in Copenhagen in 2014 and then the gold in Glasgow in 2017. That's white. And when he won his gold medal in Glasgow, became only the fourth player to win the men's singles gold medal after being world junior champion. And it's been a steady progression from that event where you were Morton in Guadalajara yes. when he won his world junior title. 2010. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a great journey from uh, the man from Owense. He's done really well. Oh, indecision, but great control. Yeah. Playing the shot from such a low position. Well, immediately turns and looked at his coach and pointed as if to say, should I have played that one on my deep backhand corner? Or was it going out? Yeah, but sometimes I think players need to have a little bit more self-confidence. No. Playing the shots. It's a decision, it's a split decision. Oh, it's a good start for Axelson. Yeah, we need to see uh, Loken Yu sort of explode a little bit more, go on the attack, because that's when he's playing his best. It's interesting you say that because while we were in Indonesia, uh, look and you, well, well, we talked at, at length about the fact that there was slow playing conditions in Bali, but look and you's attacking play was quite outstanding, wasn't it? That's just wide. Yeah. So we did see glimpses even in, in slow conditions, and we've got slow conditions here in Welva as well. Yeah, correct. Just how good he is when he's attacking the Singaporean. 
have it's 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 problem to any opponent playing Axelsson if Axelsson has got self confidence to play. Mm. And somehow when you are the opponent you've got to try to take that away from him. Mm. And you can do that on uh, in various ways. Uh, you can play faster than him. You can uh, be very strong in your defence, but you can also score good points in your attack against him. And if you start scoring points against his defence, he will panic Six. a little bit more and start attacking and say, OK, I don't want to be defending, so I have to attack even more. And then that's when the mistakes are creeping into the game of Axelsson. So it's very important when you're playing the Dane that you, you have a game plan and you know what you want to do. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what yeah. defence for Axelson. That had gone past him. Yeah, he's a tall man to get his body out of the way to give himself the freedom to play the shot as he did. It's another long, punishing rally, isn't it? Yeah. Be wide. Yeah. Service over. Three. Kelvin Cole. Look and use coach. Yeah, it's interesting that Kenny Jonasson is sitting behind the court again. Yeah, nice to see. Yeah, but it could have been an interesting scenario had to access and said, no, thank you. Mm. <laughs> and just to explain that, if people are unaware, the Danish Federation withdrew the coaching Seven, support three. of for Victor Axelson because he's relocated to Dubai. So while he was in Bali, those three tournaments in three weeks, Victor Axelson had no coach. Thank you. Continue. And Axelson, of course, have to find a solution somehow. Mm. It's still early days, but uh, a solution has to be found. I don't think he will carry on like Cho Chen Chen. Without a coach? Without a coach. I don't think he would do that. So the reason he's got the use of uh, and the help from Kenneth Jonasson here is because the Danish Federation will help him in major tournaments, but not in the World Tour. Is that right? Yes, when you're selected by Denmark to play, then they will support. Yeah. And of course, for the World Champs, as this one or the Thomas and Thomas Cop, he's playing Suleiman Cop representative events, yeah. and uh, he will be supported. Lovely play from Lopez. It is a fantastic Seven. play. I love that how he constructed that rally. Yeah. Really, really well played. Uh, Axelson was saying, have to carry on, move on. Super control too on that reverse push, reverse slice push deep into the Dane's backhand corner. Yeah, you have to be impressed when Loken Yu is playing his best. Yeah. He is playing really, really good badminton. Ah, that's good play by Axelson. Very proactive on the return of serve, sending a strong signal to his opponent. And something I actually think that Luke and you should do as well. I was just about to say that, Morton. <laughs> yeah. We've seen it numerous times when 
Axelson has played against Antonsen. Yes. Antonsen absolutely pounces on Victor's slow serve. Puts pressure on. Yeah, there again. The follow-up shot directed straight at the body of Seven. the tall dame, Victor Eight. Axelson. Well, that finish at the net was another beautiful one because the gap was cross court and most players would have played it, but they, he still opted to go straight on the body of Axelson. Oh dear, service error. Yeah, but I think that's due to the fact yes. Axelson attacked the other one. Yeah, I agree. from Axis and twice in the forehand getting it all across the court great defensive skills oh that's it as well always oh, challenging well we're not in the best position to no. see that but instinctively, I thought that was probably good. Uh, if anything, of course, it must be long. Yeah, it certainly wasn't out on the sideline. No. Nowhere near. Here we go. Uh, it's in. Challenge unsuccessful. I'm back on form. Your You're back on form. You, you put your sharp glasses on. I have. interesting. Mm. I think that should have been fought to receiver. No, I wouldn't disagree with you. Brilliant. There's the attacking play that you were talking about. Exactly. And when he's playing like this, he's playing Nine. just Ten. awesome. Great, great jump smash from yeah. Elkin Yu. And he's timing it to perfection right at the top. Yeah. And what was interesting was that he got behind the shuttle, stopped, yeah. leapt forward into it. Into it yeah. to play that shot. Oh, That's great good net play. play. Yeah, good play. Lovely net play from the Olympic Eleven champion. Nine. And he goes to the mid game interval with a two point advantage. you only could hear the first half of that Morton but anything of interest not really um, not really it was nothing. 11, nine. and it's not because I don't want to say it is it, it was nothing yeah okay Play.
Oh, that's why well red. It's gone for the body again yeah. for that right hip. And that has been very, very effective with his attacking play. Look at you. Yeah, especially when uh, Axison is really out of position. And when, if you're playing into the gap of Axison, then chances are that he can make use of his very, very good reach and then get it back. But when it's on the body, he doesn't know what to do about it. Mm. So it's a very clever play by Logan Yu. What an angle. Using all of his six foot four inch frame. The reach up, take the shuttle early, clip it straight down the line. Watch this. Reaching right up. That's a terrific angle. advantage. Oh my goodness me. I don't good. believe it. Wow. How can he get it back? I have no idea. 14, 10. That was amazing retrieving from Loken you Court this, this, this is even better. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's good of access and to stay focused. Well, that is incredible. on the forehand side there from Axelson. And that's Ten. trying to prove my point a little bit. When you're trying to, to find these gaps, he's using his reach. This one here, just using the reach. Had it been on the body, he would not have been able to play a shot. Exactly. Like That smash, no can you, isn't he? Yes, very Hello. good anticipation. Hesitation yeah. on the back 16, line cost him dear. Indecision. And I don't think Axison will let this lead disappear. No, I think he he will take this opening game, 16-11. That's a demanding lead. Oh, yes. 
Oh, the next shot from Axelson was too good because Lopez knew was there ready to pounce and, and simply couldn't kill it. Such was the quality of the next shot from the tall Dane. afterwards. Look at that athletic drum. My goodness me from Loken you that initial round the hedge smash. Well they may be training partners but my goodness they're both fired up for this aren't they? Uh, forget training. Yeah. A bit wild that one. 18, it was. 12. Yeah. And it's interesting the psychological battle that's going on too, Morton, because after that rally, a big uh, sort of verbal celebration <laughs> from Axelson yeah. at his opponent's uh, error. That's the that why I smiled a bit. Because it is tense out there. Yeah. That's well right. left. Yeah, that's well left. I think you're right on that drift yeah. from right to left. That uh, was not enough towards the side from Logan no. U. Too much centre for that smash. Uh, he got punished. Yeah. In fact, that's ne that was nearer the middle than the sideline, wasn't yes. it? Points away from this opening game. Oh, yes, is that sharp? So it's over. 14, 19. So game point opportunities for the Olympic champion, Victor Axelson. Done its opening game to the former world champion and current Olympic champion First Victor game Axelson. Won by Victor Axelson. 21 14. 14. Opening game taking just under 23 minutes. Oh, my 
Han kommer med de der, hvor han hopper opskæring, ja. og så han kan gerne have dobbelt eller sådan noget, han kommer op på, og så han bliver ja, Og det skal vi bare prøve at sætte en stopper på. Ja. Det er stadigvæk langt fra at stå tillade dig selv en enkelt trukning. Ja. Så er det du, du ved, du er her, vi kan sagtens også rykke ned under den. Det meste er, at du står højt op på den forbind. Der er ingen grund til, at jeg smadrer igennem først. Ja, men det er præcis, eller det er som en overraskelse. Så slet ikke, det er den her, jamen løfter, eller løfter du, holder han nedad, så giver han frem i forbindelsen, for så at have en mulighed for at tage lidt af løfter ham igen. Ja. Fuck det, at man lige lukker en gang imellem. Ja, det er det. Eller kommer frem på et eller andet, altså jeg vinder lige med. Ja. I første, ikke? Ja. Vi skal lige have ham frem. Ja. So the Olympic Second champion game. won game to the good 21-14 no uh, opening game against Lokin Yu. Uh, Victor Axelson very much in dialogue in between games with his coach Kenny Jonasson. What can you fill us in? I can try. Um, one thing was that Axelson will never open attack with a hundred percent smash. Always go for the half smash first and then perhaps the bigger one after that. Uh, secondly, it's very important for, according to what they discussed, that uh, Loken Yu is moved to the front of the court because his attack from the back is really good. So if he's get two chances from the back, that's not so good. So he, I think he would like to block and, and bring Loken Yu forward and then perhaps play towards the back of the court again. But what they were mostly focused on was the fact that Axiston should be standing far off on the court. So take control of the front court. Two, Did they one. mention the drift? Not at all. No. Okay. And that was a bad choice for Axis and that attack he played just now. He was way out of balance. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> that was a little bit unusual, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, take a new one. Yes. Take it. Take it. Yeah, Axelson was a little bit emotional there, wasn't he? Mm. Ready for the defense off the body. Uh, red again. Great anticipation. Okay. Yeah, that was the half smash you were talking about. Yeah. yeah. He, he doesn't want he doesn't like to start off with a big smash when he's he wants to build the rally before yeah. he's going for the hundred percent. Yeah. Again, the attacking shot from Axelsson 
no pace for Jürgen New to feed off yeah. on his defensive shot. That's exactly what happened. Gave you too little. Well, I can still see a, a wet patch on the court there after the court attendant. Mm, yeah, me too. Yeah. from an axe or something. Maybe he hasn't spotted it. And hopefully he will not spot it. Yeah. Which means that he's not slipping. But I think, look, and you, if he's clever now, he's going to try to force a lot of flat exchanges. That's definitely where he can put axes and under a lot of pressure as well. Like this. Game wide, wasn't it? Chances, yes. Six. Yeah. Great. Yeah, well, that he turned and looked up at our colleagues from Danish television, didn't he? To no, ask? I think Thomas Dango is sitting up at the back. Oh, yeah. right, okay. I didn't spot Thomas. Yeah, he's sitting just up here behind. Yeah. It's a service error. Goes over. His second. Four. played which was in the final of the Indonesian Super 1000 event it was three games and the opening game in Bali was 21-13 here it's been 21-14 <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna have a similar sort of match yeah Kenny won the second game quite convincingly was it to nine or something that's right yeah that was really very convincing That's, it's amazing you have a 64 draw and you Nine, four, have a first round like this. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh my goodness me. What a smash from Loken, you. Ten, four. Yeah. Timing to perfection, the way that he's timing his jump. Look at that, it's exactly what we discussed previously as well. So to the mid-game interval, Lopen Yu has a healthy six-point advantage. And 
the Olympic champion is looking a little bit rattled to me. Part one, 20 seconds. Well, Morton, Part just picking one, up on the points seconds. that you were making a moment ago, that this is an incredibly tough first round match yes. in a draw of 64 at the World Championships. And because this morning I was thinking what a tough draw it was, yeah. I actually researched <laughs> when a number one or two seed or a defending champion had lost their first match in a world championship in the, in the men's singles. And I could think of two. And the first was when defending this champion one, Fleming Delfs lost out. in his first match in Jakarta in 1980. Yeah. And he, do you remember who he lost to? Gonzalez. Gonzalez, he was the one I Next. lost to in 77 in the in, first round. Well, not, <laughs> not that I wanted to, to bring that out. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Gonzalez was a good player. Yeah. He was a very good player. He was a good player. But the well, other time five, was the year that Victor Axelson won his World Championship gold medal. What? Glasgow, 17, yes. Lee Chong no, Wei. He was second seed. Five. Number was second seed, yeah. lost in the last 64 first round, Brice Loverdays. Yes. Because inevitably, I think we're going to have a third and deciding five. game here. Yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. Axelson just said that we need some longer rallies. I think he wants to make sure that uh, Loken Yu is not too fresh going into the third game. He needs to do better than that if he wants to extend the rallies. Yeah. I serve now from Axelson. Mister. So well, I think Axelson might be six, rather nervous six, in the six. deciding game. the motions isn't it yeah and uh, I think lots and lots of viewers around the world plus us here in the stadium just looking forward to the third and final yeah. game Six. yeah what is going to unfold well exactly and I think Axelson may be well you talked in the opening game about how he can get nervous and you don't want to be playing against him when he's confident yeah Shuffle, fast shuffle. So game point opportunities. Eight. So it's over. 9.20. It is awfully similar to Barley, isn't it? <laughs> it, it is. <laughs> uh, good anticipation from Axison here. So 
Sutton, 21-9. Second game, Second the response game from Loka and you. 21-9. One game all. Just like Bali. It is exactly like Bali. Second game, won by Loka and you, 21-9. And 39 minutes the match has been in progress. So the players call back on to courts to get the third and the signing game underway. Final game. Oh. Level. Play. I think the start to this deciding game absolutely crucial. <laughs> uh, a lovely defence from Loken. You. Skimming the top of the tape, making the lift from Atchison quite difficult. That was really well played. And that to me is science of nerves. Yeah, that was a big chance from Axelson. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah, I'm not sure we saw it, but I can tell you that Axelson threw. The, hang on, we're going to have a word. Well, Axelson threw the shuttle into the uh, waste box. The shuttle waste box. Not happy with himself. The umpire saying you've got to ask me to change the shuttle. And there's a third service error from local you. It was just so calm. Yeah. Well, all the pressure is on the Olympic champion, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. Just letting the arm do the work, nothing else. It's just so calmly played. Oh, oh. Yeah. Nerves. And frustration. Yeah. Good. Oh, that's a good response. Good response there from Axelson. Really trying to hype himself up, psych himself up here. Oh, 
Oh, wow. and he missed it. Wow. And he missed it. Can you believe it? I thought that was a good, you know, a safe winner. Yeah. And I thought, oh, well anticipated and, you know, well played and all that. And then it was a miss. Yeah. Axelson has anticipated the drop shot. Well, I think the Dane is riddled with nerves. Yeah. There's another error. take a moment to recompose his thoughts. Yeah, the big question is actually low can you serve? He needs to be able to serve oh that's a magnificent smash. As steady as what he's doing now. If yeah. if his serve is getting rattled and you know is becoming unstable. Yeah. Then the whole momentum can change again. It's very, very important for Loken Yu to be able to serve as well as what he's doing right now. Sorry to keep repeating myself, but that's another sign of nerves when you don't move your feet and you just sort of dive, yeah, dive towards yeah. the shuttle. Yeah, for the time being, look and you really looks like he's in the song, that's what yeah. you say. Yeah. Did the right thing there, attacked the low serve. Well, just mourn for showing the fist at his opponent. Another fabulous smash from Loken Yu. And it's interesting, Nine, Morton, because, four. you know, in the Olympic final, it was Axelson who was hitting smashes <laughs> like and winners at will yeah. Yeah. and finding line after line after line yeah. uh, against uh, Chen Long. Chen Long. Yeah. I agree with you. And it's, it's like it's, he's so relaxed at the moment. It's, yeah. He's in the zone. Everything yeah. is working out yeah. for him. And, you know, he's just having this very relaxed style and hitting the lines. Yeah, in total contrast for his opponent. Obviously, once again, very, very bad low serve. And he got away with it, can you, in that one? Desperately needs to close down this gap before the change ends. The Olympic champion. This is the first rally in a long time where there's really. Oh. A fierce competition on the initiative. Yeah. Eleven five. That was what I was going to say. <laughs> well, it was only a half opportunity at the front of the court for Axelson, but he missed it. Well, I do wish 
we could hear what uh, Kenny Donison was saying to his man. Can't hear what either of the coaches are saying board at the one, moment. 20 seconds, board one, 20 seconds. Well, it's the moment of truth. Has Logan you got the nerve to push home this advantage? And has the Olympic champion got the nerve to find a comeback? Doesn't look like it when we're talking about a comeback from the Olympic champion. Because mm. that was another, I wouldn't say a big miss, but it was a good opportunity. Yeah. Excellent, excellent flick stuff Four. from Lokan Yu. That came at the exact right time because Axison was definitely moving forward. Good net exchange. Oh, wow. Now that's that's one of the first winning smashes that we've seen in a long while from Axison. tell you that while we were looking at Loka New, Victor Axelson was shaking his head yes. and it's almost, he looks to me as if he's resigned to the fact that it's not his day. And that's long. Yeah. That yeah. was tame. This is it. I, I actually yeah. didn't think it at 13.5. and Well, I, 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 st I still thought that Axelson was actually having still a good chance, you know. Yeah. Lock and you is very, very inexperienced yeah. when it comes to situations like this. Yeah. And uh, I actually thought that Axelson by, okay, let's do it. Throw everything to the wind, isn't that what you say? And yeah. say, okay, let's do it. Um, I think he still had a chance, but I, I think it's gone now. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so do I. 17. Well, six. as I was saying in the second game, a defending champions or one of the top two seeds, it's only happened twice before in the men's singles in world championship history. And I think it's about to happen a third time. Four. Yeah, 18. that's resignation, isn't it? Six. Yeah. points away look in you from beating the Olympic champion and former world champion oh, that's great variation that's bad luck for Axis and I think that was a clever trying to play that shot back of the net was well, a good option. This one here, I think this is a good option. Yeah. Can you use away from the net? Thank you. Wait. Let. Yeah. Yeah. That, the. Mind you, she's not in the space. Yeah. Well, unlike in Indonesia, we haven't got dedicated court attendants. It's the line judge. And we've got to wait for them to get back in their line judge's position after mopping the court. Match point opportunities for a huge upset here at the World Championships. 20. 
I like, yeah, I like how calm yeah. Luke Kenyu is, is handling this now. He's not celebrating, he's just staying so focused. Yeah. The number two seed, the Olympic champion, the former world champion, Victor Axelsson, is out of the world championships here in Wilva. Beaten by Lo Ken Yu. Well, what a year this young man is having. 14-21. I'm hard just confirming that scoreline, and I can hardly believe my eyes and my ears on the scoreline in the second and third games. This is the match point opportunity. And as Morton was saying, very calm, Loka knew, and sadly, Victor Axelson, I think some time ago, was resigned to defeat. It certainly wasn't his day, but it was Loka knew's day in great calm and great style that he beats the Olympic champion. 14, 21, 21, 9, 21, 6 in the deciding game and a major, major upset here at the World Championships. So coming up next is the silver medalist from the last World Championships, Anas Antonsen, the number three seed, is up against Vladimir Malkov of the Russian Federation. just witnessed a major, major upset in the men's singles with the former world champion and reigning Olympic champion Victor Axelsson uh, being